Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakulash, the Bahanas, to the elders, and the apostles of Great Millstone. <coughs> Shalom to you, brothers, and the highways, and the byways, preaching, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Shapal with the Jimmy's to make a camp with a lesson. Um, as you can see on the screen, man, this <laughs> is a very disturbing lesson this morning, you know? and we'll just get to the point and show you that this man <clears throat> that is ruling man is it's is after your children and not just that these laws and these um legislation and these things that are being passed right they also you know the elites of the society also want chaos right and knowing that you know a lot of people <clears throat> you know i go protest against these um these things. Now, what we see of here is um, an article from the National Pulse, right? It says, the United Nations says minor can consent to sex and anti-trans activism should be criminalized. So, <clears throat> what are you doing? They're saying that your minor, your child, can consent to having sex. And on the other hand, people that are the, 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 the people that are deemed as against the trans community, you know what I mean, should be criminalized. <clears throat> now, these things are madness. You know, when we look at it from a, a biblical standpoint and morals, you know, we're seeing that this society is decaying. Whenever a society is about to collapse, these are the things that we see happen, right? Now, the poor and spirit of Yahweh Bashmi or Shai, the Lord had left us a small remnant, as the scripture said. We should have been like unto Sodom and like unto Gomorrah, meaning the same destruction should befall the whole earth, the reset. Right? Same thing that happened in at the time of Noah. You know, when the Lord flood this place, you know. It's the same thing that's gonna happen, man, but with fire. Right? And it's all the cause of these things, you know. To the will and spirit of Yahweh Hashem of course, you know it was prophesied. But these are the things, man. Where we, where we <clears throat> these are the things where we have to live, you know, in our society, and and this society cannot go on any further. You know, people are kids that's growing now. Right, are gonna grow to see these things as normal. This is madness. You understand? So this generation is not going any further, man. This generation will and shall be destroyed. Thus say the Lord, how about Shmuel Shai? Let us show you that kids <coughs> cannot uh, make certain decisions. The once they started to say that, look, a kid, a kid can change them gender. A child can change them gender. Or them have the, the choice to change whatsoever gender. First, what they do, they take away. The, 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 the children from the parents, meaning um, once you, you have a birth certificate, you, 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 your kids no longer belong to you, they belong to the state, right? And once that happens, is that the state can now determine or make laws, you know what I mean? Indi individually, you know what I mean, for your child, separate from you. That means they can um, have your child go against your will. You know, there's certain laws for them. Now, what them do is basically them say a child has the choice, you know what I mean, to um, change their gender. So, them give them privilege, you know what I mean, over the parents, right? So, the, the state is basically um, grooming your child. And that's what this whole thing is about. It's about grooming, right? It's about grooming. But your child can't make a, that decision. Now, as I stated before, once them... Give the child right to change them gender. I knew, and we all knew, <coughs> that this was coming next. Because if you are, if you are, if you are as a child, you can determine if you want to be a man or a woman or a cat or a dog. You see me? Then that's a big, a huge decision. That means that you can consent to having sex because that would contradict the whole thing. You know, and that's what we have here, man. So let me get into some scripture. <coughs> Alright, so this is, hmm, this is 
is Proverbs 22, 1 verse 6. To train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So the scripture tells us that we, we should train up a child in the way he should go. Now, the laws and statutes of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son of the Heavenly Father. Those are any names in the Hebrew, where the so called Israelite, <coughs> no, it's like you. Um, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, we are the biblical Israelite where the scriptures speak of. Right? We are that um, chosen uh, seed unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh and we were given the laws and statutes. Now, and no other nation, right? Now, if we had followed those laws and statutes, man, and groom our child up, there would be a beacon of light to the world. Because that's what, what that's what Israel um, was ordained to be. A beacon of light, right? A guidance toward the four corners of the earth, man. Someone that, you know, a nation that the world look up to in righteousness and morals. The laws and statutes that are written in the scriptures, if we are taught to our children that they will be kings and priests, man, and clean. <clears throat> but we have transgressed, we are sent over here in captivity, and this is the mindset of the men that is ruling over our people today. <laughs> right? Let me get another scripture about this <clears throat> point. Right? This is Proverbs. Oh, was that actually the same place? Proverbs 22 verse 15, it says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. That means a child doesn't know what the hell he wants, man. You know, it's like an empty vessel, right? And once, once you start to fill it up with certain things, you know what I mean, that is going to become... That 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 um that child world belief system is uh, personality because that's what that child is seeing around him, and this is what is feeding our children. Man, that's why I said the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. That means <coughs> beat it out of him. Man. You know we're not you know promoting child abuse or anything. But the scripture tells you that you know you're supposed to do that, right? Um, yeah. So it says the United Nations, which receives around twelve um, billion dollars a year, a quarter of its total, is funding um, for America taxpayers, has published a report declaring that children can consent to sex. In fact, if not in law, <laughs> it's crazy, man. and that is, uh, and that this should be reflected in the enforcement or rather non-enforcement of the age of consent law. <laughs> the grotesque report by the International Commission of, Ju of Jurists, 60 eminent judges and lawyers from all regions of the world, was launched by the Office of the High Commission for Human Rights. And it's, it's crazy that these men speak about human rights. It is not right for a grown-ass man, 50 year old, right, to have sex with a minor. And we speak about minor. We're not speaking about 13, 14, man. We're speaking about under the age of 10, 7, 6, 5. But you see, this, 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 it shows you the type of person that is ruling of our people. The scripture said the, 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 the leaders of these people cause them to err. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It shows you the, 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 the mindset of these men that is ruling, man. Right? It's um, OHCHR and the Joint National, uh, the Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS, da, 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 on International Women's Day, and the Center chiefly on how criminal law should be applied or not applied to sexual activities. So the news comes as major corporations and government around the world seen to support the sexualization of children and in many cases even threaten to remove them from their parents if the, their agenda is not allowed to be freely taught in school. This is crazy. As I said before, man, these people need the chaos. And this is going to cause a lot of chaos, man, because nobody is going to sit there 
especially Jake, and watch you turn their child into a uh, 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 um. <laughs> hey. People are going to revolt, man. And Eve out here in Jamaica, hey, look, and Jonas, <laughs> if you think about passing something like this out here in Jamaica, man, and you know them, them offer adhere to the, the United Nations um, laws and guidelines, you know what I mean? The UN, because Jamaica is not a sovereign nation. But if they dare to go against this, man, you know, hey, trust me. People are going to rise up against them, right? And as I say, they try to take them away from their parents. You know what I mean? It's a consensual sex conduct. This part of the um, article says, leave them kids alone. Consensual sex conduct, uh, irrespective to the type of sexual activities, the sex, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression of the people involved or their marital status may not be criminalized in any circumstances. The report insists, adding that, um, consensual same sex as the um, as well as consensual different sex uh, sexual relations and consensual sex relations with or between trans and non binary or non gender diverse people outside marriage. Well, it's crazy. Madness. Let's go to the next paragraph. Say the language suggests that the reports. <laughs> Um, author are concerned with the criminalization of the activities such as adultery and sodomy, although none or both are in fact prohibited in the UN countries. And this has not stopped some of them, is it China, Algeria, and Pakistan, among others, from being appointed to the UN uh, Council, right? Because so in some Middle Eastern are. Um, what we call African countries, this is, is uh, criminalized, right, by, by um, maybe uh, jail time on some Middle Eastern, it's by death, you know, and, and that's what the, script, the scripture support that, you know what I mean? So, a lot of African countries, as you see recently, is now coming out and say, look, we don't want that in our nation, man. See, so these things <laughs> has been passed, no. I you know the UN... You know, with America and all these allied countries, them have NATO, right? Where them use to carry out them agenda as them police force through the four corners of the earth. See? So all of these countries were opposed. A lot of destabilization are going to happen in them country, man. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Because they are going to fund a lot of groups in those countries, you know? They might find a lot of groups in those countries for rise up and uh, cause insurrection and destabilization of countries. This they've been doing this from, you know, it's nothing new to them, man. <clears throat> you know. I said, but what the author are truly concerned with is the alarming reveal of the subsequent paragraphs with readers being um, eased into the agenda with the vague injection injunction that. Uh, prescribe minimum age of consent to be applied in a non uh, discriminatory manner before it is fully revealed. So moreover, sexual conduct involving persons below the discrimin the, the domestically prescribed minimum age of consent to sex may be consensual in fact, if not law. <laughs> We're speaking about minors, man. We're speaking about under the age of 10 going down. Right? Let me just get this uh, part. It's the age of consent exists because minors are really considered as incapable of giving informed consent, particularly if any, yeah, if they are vulnerable or have been groomed. That's, that's the word that's been, that's the, is the word man, for all of this. Groomed. Alas, the reports double down, demanding that the enforcement of criminal law should be reflected, should reflect the rights um, and capability of minor, right, to make decisions about engaging in sexual conduct, right, and their right to be heard in matter. Them. So them giving your kids rights, different rights, and them giving you are different um, are suppressing your right 
to rule over your child. And that's where the, the, the division comes in. Them taking away your child from you. You have the Tavistock Clinic. There's a lot of rumors been coming out on them. You know, in um in 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 Canada, I think them have a legislation on the table. Right? Don't know if it has been passed yet that you cannot protest within uh, I believe a hundred meters of any trans or, or homosexual, or, you know, anybody who is deemed homophobic or transphobic or whatever it may be, cannot protest within a hundred meters of any of these people. If they're found doing that, then it's 25,000 Canadian or jail time. So you see, you see what's happening, man? It's, it's, it's getting crazy where a normal man can't even live a normal life. You know, straight and normal life as it, as it is. <sighs> there, it's, it's, like, it's like a mafia thing, man. The Rainbow Mafia, as well as I heard one um, describe it. Right? Um, let's get into another precept, a matter of fact. It's, it says Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 10 and verse 1 says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is, is, is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of a city is, such are all they that dwell therein. See? So, you can tell the nature of this man that is ruling, right? You can tell the nature of the man that is ruling, man, right? By the laws and the legislation and everything that is set throughout his province. He saw Hedom, a so-called white man, is ruling today. And look at the society and you will see this man's personality, right? It's weird because sex trafficking, um, pedophilia, all of these things, you know, he, ha he has always been doing this. Is he just know that he's trying to make it, uh, put it on the forefront, you know, and make these things be known out there. You understand? Trying to get the right to do, you know what I mean, which will ultimately create chaos. But he has been doing this. This is his, 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 um, his nature. This is his true nature, man. Right? <clears throat> so, and otherwise, king will destroy his people. But through the prudence of them that are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. So, an unwise king, right, will destroy his people. This society is not going any further, man. The Lord is going to come and destroy this. Right? He said, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time will set over it one that is profitable. Right? Let me show you the nature of this, man. Right now. This is his nature. This is Job 30 and verse... One, you say, but now they that are younger than I had me, have me in derision, whose father I would have disdained to set with the dogs of my flock. So Job, speaking about Esau, Edom, and Job says that what? He would not set these men among the dog of his flock. Right? Sin. This is the nature of Esau, Edom, and the wicked. You know, the scripture said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know? So. Alright, so, Job, this is Job's statement. Man. And he's speaking about Esau, Edom, right? Not even the dogs. Because no, guess what you have in the United States and in Canada and throughout the world? You have bestiality. <laughs> These men are cavemen, as the scripture will go down into. It's a verse 2, yea, where to might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was um, was perished? For want of famine, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former times desolate and waste, who cut up mellows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as a thief, as after a thief. To dwell in the cliffs of the valley and in the caves of the herd and in the rocks. Among the bushes they bray, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were violent and hurt. These men were children of fools, man. Right? The scripture says they, they, they made so bray. These men could not talk. 
right. right and so then dwelling the cliffs of the rock which was back then it was speaking about Petra but because them nature you know what I mean cleave to caves and rocks right that is why now in this dispensation of time they're called Caucasian because they came out about the Caucasus mountain right in somewhere in South Georgia Russia somewhere along that uh, vicinity right and they came down you know what I mean? Jake basically taught them how to live, civilized, right? You know, our people did that, you know? But the Lord has set up this man over us, you know what I mean? As, you know, <laughs> just for punishment. You understand? But nevertheless, you know, these are the things that is going on, man. And, and as I said before, society, these are the nature of the man that's ruling. And you can't expect nothing better, right? And But you were set up. The whole thing was set up so that we would yearn for the kingdom and know how precious this truth is. We would know the right from the wrong. We would know good from evil. We would know everything. And we would never go off again, man, under the rulership of these men. Because not just only this thing, but the harshness and the, the low state were all people in. We would not go ever want to face these things again, man. You know? All right, so let me just uh, finish the article. Uh, Get another scripture also. Uh, it says that the UN would in any way promote the decriminalization of pedophilia <coughs> activities in any circumstances. Right? Um, in any circumstances uh, is especially troubling given its own grim history right, of preying on children. Right? This is it. You now we have the other day the Dalai Lama come out. You know what I mean? Um, and, and these things are not random. People, they need an uprising. They need chaos. Society is about to collapse. They need chaos. The Dalai, Dalai Lama come out telling um, that young man, uh, if he suck his, his, his tongue. Right? You think these things are, come on, man. Right, circumstances, yeah. And the more of an instrument because you have the, um, they call it the, 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 uh, the Pope, you know what I mean? The, the Vatican, the, 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 I forgot the religion, um, anyway, you know. They, they, they have a history. See, the UN, the United Nations peacekeepers in particular are notorious perpetuating rape and gang. Rip against children, even forming sex rings um, to perpetuate a uh, profit from such abuse in country like Haiti. A report by the Associated Press um, 2017 discussed a ring comprised of a shocking 134 peacekeepers, right? For example, and um, found very few were given so much as a slap on the wrist for their crime. These things have been happening. The UN, the East Ahidam, a so-called white man, man, is the vilest thing on earth. Except they were viler than the earth. These men need to get out of power, man. Go back into the caves. You know what I mean? Let's go back into the caves. It's just these, the scripture says that these men are going to get eradicated off of the face of the earth. But what you see now is it's already been going on. It's just under the surface. But now everything is being coming to light. See? And it says, say, you know, there's a slap on the wrist, but there's an eternal judgment. Because we know how this society is set up. And the, the, the people are put in a prominent position to judge over the people. We know them. We know how these things set up. So we're not looking for anything. But the, there's an eternal judgment. You have a, Right? That's gonna judge and you, you can't buy out, you can't you can't beg, you know. So it's a similar behaviors have been reported in Africa and Europe, right? With NATO soldiers, right, UN police and Western aid workers, right, operating with near in, impunity and exploiting the victims of sex traffickers and uh Kov Kosovo when they flooded into the Siberian province in 1999, according to a report by The Guardian, helping a 
marginal sex slavery scheme flourish into a major industry, right? The UN reported that uh, the UN report did not limit itself to merely normalizing pedophilia as called for in the decriminalization de of um, other questionable activities. Inclu this includes not just the um, not just decriminalizing the oppression or culture of drugs for personal use uh, includes by anyone under the age of 18 or while pregnant but also the non-disclosure of HIV such as such <clears throat> all right so this one is speaking about uh, HIV and such um Uh, well, basically, you know, we can stop there. <laughs> All right, we can stop there because, okay, we are, let's right, we'll read the last paragraph. Say, conversely, um, the report recommended that practices aiming to change or suppress a person's sexual orientation gender identity or expression may be addressed through other provisions in the criminal law so if you're telling your son that look you are a boy and you're not a woman is a man she and that boy feel like they're a, a, a woman and not a boy then can report it and you can get charged yep that's the world we're living in today man All right but as i said before when we see these things, man, we know. <laughs> That's the thing with us, man. We know that this society is about to crumble. All right? Let's, uh, let's get 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 5. No matter of fact, let's just get to the point. Let's start at verse uh, 6. So far, wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their earthful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely committed, neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right? Therefore thus saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and I receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will suffer them no more to dwell in Egypt. But I will bring them out with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt as, uh, with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plagues and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Right? So, this society, man, the last time we hold him tongue no more as touching their wickedness. So this society is not going any further man. right with that one give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Yahweh Kodash I'm honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Shalom to you brothers in the eyes and by ways preaching teaching is truth and sincerity man look the Lord has left us a small remnant which is the elect of the nation of Israel who don't know who the elect is but call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for doing that so that we can uh, return to true righteousness you know Shalom